Welcome to the 2018 Auto Car Orientation video. This video is intended to highlight and identify the unique features of your new Auto Car ACTT terminal tractor. One of the most important things to remember about Auto Car is that we encourage you to call us direct anytime you have any issue or question with your truck. This service is called Solutions Tech Support and is highlighted in a separate video. Your new Auto Car is powered by many components that will be familiar to you a Cummins engine, Allison transmission, and Meritor axles. If you're ever in need of more detail, for instance the serial numbers, you can find this information printed on a label inside the rear sliding door. You can also find the VIN stamped in the left hand wheel well and at the rear of the boom. The ACTT terminal tractor comes in three distinct configurations. Single axle off-road, single axle on-road, and tandem axle on-road. There are many options required on DOT legal units which are not required on off-road units, including a laminated windshield, rear mud flaps, and marker lights. ABS is also required if the top speed is set above 33 miles an hour. For verification of the model on your unit, check the fourth digit of the 17-digit VIN. An H will signify the unit is certified for on-road use, while a G will indicate that it can be used only in off-road applications. Our trucks are proudly hand-built in Hagerstown, Indiana, and each one has a custom and specific configuration. Consult your auto car sales representative for guidance on equipment or options that are not covered in this orientation. Besides an unmatched commitment to service, Autocar's claim to fame in the terminal tractor space is boasting the heaviest duty truck and chassis, along with what we consider to be the most operator-friendly environment which is highlighted by the largest overall cab and most visibility. All windows are a bit larger, and you'll find a curved front windshield, which is designed to support up and down visibility. The rear door opening is the largest in the industry, supporting an easy ingress and egress to and from the cab. Autocar's cab is all steel, and each goes through a 17-step e-coating process, which is designed to help prevent corrosion. This, along with the heaviest duty frame, heavy duty bumper, and heavy duty muffler guard, are designed to help stand the test of time. The following section will call attention to some specific areas of interest involved in a pre-trip inspection. However, please be sure to abide by your own company's guidelines. Before you get started each day, it's important to perform a pre-trip inspection to make sure that there are no obvious issues that might cause a problem down the road. Autocar locates as many of these features as possible right by the access steps, including the engine and transmission dipsticks and the air tank drains. Even if the truck is equipped with an air dryer, it's still recommended to drain the tanks to get rid of any moisture and make sure you're working with optimal air volume. If equipped, you'll also find the receptacle for the block heater in this area. On the curb side of the chassis, you'll find the washer fluid reservoir in the hydraulic tank, which is equipped with a sight glass. Pictured here is the external washer fluid reservoir. Many off-road units may not be equipped with the washer and other models may have the reservoir mounted under the cab. When checking the sight glass in the hydraulic tank, Make sure the boom is lowered and the fluid is relatively cool. Under the cab, you'll find the coolant reservoir where you should check the sight glass to make sure the red coolant is visible. You'll also notice the cab features two airbags rather than one, which allows better durability and an improved ride. Next, you'll want to check under the truck for any visible fluid leaks and check the air pressure on the tires. Proper pressures are typically printed on the sidewall, but please abide by any company guidelines you may have. It's also a good idea to walk around the entire chassis to check for any obvious concerns, such as trip hazards or damage. Autocar terminal tractors built 2018 and after will feature a new and improved cab tilt system. You'll find the controls easier to use and located on the left-hand frame. The pump is positioned in the right-hand wheel well, as shown here. To avoid damage when tilting the cab, before beginning the tilt process, be sure that there's nothing loose in the cab or on the dash that might hit and damage the windshield, and be sure that the area in front of the cab is clear. The new controls are fairly intuitive. To raise the cab, simply pull the safety cord and hold down the raise button. To lower, pull the cord and hold the lower button until the cab is fully seated. To double check that the latch is closed correctly, Check the indicator on the suspension assembly. The indicator rod will be out when the latch is open and it will be fully recessed when it has latched correctly. When climbing onto the deck and ultimately into the cab, make sure to use three points of contact at all times. The same applies when dismounting as shown here. 
Autocar uses an aggressive grip strut on the steps and decking to help avoid slip and fall opportunities. Though black is standard on many units, the decking is painted a safety yellow to help stand out as shown here. You can see in the cab that there's a lot of large windows and a ton of visibility. That's really key for safety in our minds and it's a good idea to wash those regularly to keep them clean. You'll find a seatbelt on the operator seat as well as the training seat if equipped, so please be sure to use those. Autocar standard gauge package includes the fuel gauge, speedometer, air tank pressure, oil pressure, and coolant temperature. On all DOT models, and now on all off-road tier 4 models, you'll find a light bar at the bottom of the fuel gauge which signifies the DEF level, which stands for Diesel Exhaust Fluid. DEF fluid is used in the exhaust process and the bars will go down proportionally as the supply gets exhausted. It's imperative to ensure that the DEF fluid does not run out, otherwise the truck will shut down. DEF fluid is used as part of the regeneration or regen process, which helps clean the exhaust system and make sure it continues to function properly. Though the system is designed to function seamlessly and clean itself, in certain applications the system will require operator intervention and the truck will request a manual regen to be performed. You'll find the manual regen switch labeled in the switch bay on the dash and a decal on the cab indicating what each light means. The indicator lights and the use of the switch are covered in detail in a separate video and vary slightly on DOT and off-road models. Please consult that video, your owner's manual, or your maintenance department for further direction on proper use. Elsewhere on the dash, you'll find your air and trailer brake valves, HVAC controls, wiper controls, along with switches for various lighting options depending on your configuration. You'll also find the shift selector in either a push button or T-handle design. On the right side, you'll find the fifth wheel controls and a jaw lock release, as well as a conveniently placed cup holder. If you ever need access to the cab fuse box, you'll find it either in the standard position under the dash or under a panel on the back side of the dash, depending on your configuration. When you start the truck, pay attention to the wait to start light. It will disappear once the gauges do their initial sweep and it's safe to start the truck. After you've started the truck, the air pressure will build in the tanks and keep an eye on the engine oil pressure to make sure that system is building pressure as well. Once the engine is running, you'll be able to use the boom controls. Feel free to use the engine throttle to provide more power to the hydraulic pump if needed. Outside the cab, you'll find ample lighting which includes a circular recessed light and may include several spotlights above or below the cab depending on your configuration. These lights will either be set to work automatically or by a switch on the dash depending on your fleet's preference. You'll find mirrors on the driver's side of the cab as well as on the passenger side mirror post. Please be sure that these are clean and adjusted prior to using the truck. In the fifth wheel and boom area, you'll notice Autocar utilizes a heavy duty structure even with a standard configuration. The frame itself is a one piece, fully fabricated assembly which is critical for a spotting application as compared to a traditional bolt together design. Notice on the side of the boom there are holes to insert a safety bar if servicing any area under the boom section. Never place any part of your body under this area without a safety bar installed. Under the boom you'll notice that the rear section of our frame is enclosed or boxed in which provides it even more strength where it's needed most. We found that the fenders and mud flap brackets tend to be a potential damage point and you can see that our bracket design features a spring-loaded breakaway which is intended to help those brackets absorb some subtle contact. If you look under the boom, you'll notice that we use only heavy-duty 5-inch lift cylinders and mount those with the rod pushing up which gives them more lifting capacity and also keeps the hydraulic hoses stationary to help prevent rubbing and chafing down the road. On the curb side of the unit, you'll find the after treatment system, which can be configured in a few different ways depending on the emission level. Regardless of the design, Autocar protects those components with heavy duty guards to help avoid inadvertent damage. Mid chassis, on either the left or right side, you'll find the DEF tank. Autocar surrounds that tank with a protective box and a hinged cover to help prevent damage and keep dirt out of the tank. To access the tank or fill the tank, simply open the hinge cover and turn the cap. Elsewhere on the frame, you'll find the battery box, which will either be featured as part of the left-hand access steps or in a box equipped with a sliding system, which stores the cover in a hanging position. For the sliding design, to remove the cover, simply remove the tie-downs, lift the cover up, and slide it down the track to the lower stowed position. 
While all auto cars have steps on the driver's side, there are also optional steps and grab handles on the curb side. Regardless of the configuration, please always make sure to use three points of contact. That concludes our brief overview of the truck itself and I hope you found the information helpful. Be sure to get caught up to speed on AutoCar's most unique feature, our Solutions Tech Support Service. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us directly, we're here to help. Thanks for watching.